It's Ross Coleman against Night Moves, and guys, Coleman back in Tampa took the win earlier this year. His last out in Ohio was a 21st, but he is one that never backs away from a challenge, and he is our Dickies matchup of this evening, so we're going to throw down to the one and only Joan Bogner for his thoughts. All right, you guys, my pick, my pick tonight is Ross Coleman and Night Moves. Uh, Ross, the last, I think Ross is the last time I ever got anybody right, so I'm going to stick with Ross on this one. Ross only rolled the bull for six seconds the other day, he said. Last time he was on him tonight, he's there for eight, and he's going to place pretty high in the round. Bull's going to go. Uh, I'm going to guess into his hand tonight where the last time it went away from his hand. He'll get him tonight. All right, good information from Joe Baumgartner. Thank you, Joe. We need to get Joe's record here lately. I think he's <laughs> over for the last Well, remember remember in Columbus he said he was going to do the exact opposite of what he thought because he even he himself knew that his record wasn't good. But I'm not losing faith in Joe as he's not in Ross Coleman at the moment. Ross Coleman has been a part of some very big rides in bull riding history. Of course, the richest ride in PBR history. $100,000 Mossy Oak shootout back in Columbus in 2001. And Let's not forget a $100,000 ride at the Calgary Stampede this summer. Uh oh. That big bad bull just fixed Ross Coleman's deal here tonight. I mean, flipped him like a cheese omelet right there in the back end. And that's a big, tough guy. That's one of those flapjacks coming up out of the skillet right there. Man, oh, man. Ty, how do you lose his hold there? Well, you know, the only time you see Ross have any problems is when he gets leaning back like that. Ross is a big guy. Now, he's strong pound for pound, even for how big he is. But whenever we see him get up there and stay up front like we know he can do,